that. Listen, so I want to share this with y'all, right? So I done did a few one-on-ones with males and females that like, I think a lot of people is missing this concept, right? Y'all know I always be talking about um, personal accountability and working on self and, you know, making sure that you hold before you try to mix in a relationship with somebody else, right? And then, you know, you can't really say my name without mentioning real behind it, right? I think a lot of y'all just need to be honest with y'all selves that you in a space in your life where you, you really don't want nobody to be real with you. You want them to just tell you what you want to hear or, you know, go along with what you want to happen for as long as they can. The reason why I say that is because... The reason why I say that is because it's a lot of y'all. I have to like break down in the most simplest form to y'all on these one-on-one -on -one phone calls how you're being unrealistic about your expectations for the relationship and for the other person. Now, I'm going to say this just to put it in the most ghettoest terms. A lot of y'all females, I be on one-on-one -on -one calls with y'all, right? And y'all overlook the fact or overlook or you just feel like you don't give a fuck and you don't got to give a fuck about what a nigga goals was before he got with you. And I'm going to make it real simple. A lot of y'all, you like to fuck with the flyest, the coolest, the, the, the nigga from, you know, your area with the most swag or, you know, somebody that's known or whatever, right? And y'all never take into consideration that a lot of these niggas be on a money run. They be on what we call in the streets a press. Usually a nigga say, I'm on a 90-day press, a 60-day press, a six-month press. That's where a bitch be done told they self, from whatever choices I made before today, I wasn't grinding like I should. I wasn't stacking like I should. I was worrying about the wrong shit. Now, this don't got nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with your self-worth, your value, where you at in your life, how this nigga met you, what y'all agreed y'all, none of that. It just has everything to do with a nigga tallying up. Because street niggas do this all the time. They tally up where the fuck they at. Meaning they look at how much work they got, how much they've been moving, how much they've been going out, how much they've been spending, how much they've been in the hoes face, how much hoes been in their face. Just reflecting on where they at. A lot of times they look at where other niggas at in the streets and they decide, I ain't where I want to be, right? So they decide I'm going to be on a 90-day press, a 60-day press, a 6 months press, a 3 months press. You know, whatever they name it, right? They tell themselves like, for the next 6 months, for the next 90 days, for the next 30 days... For the next time alone, I'm finna be about my cheese, right? I'm finna grind stack bread, grind stack bread. Unless like something going on where I got to go cop a fit and step out for a set. I'm finna be in these streets. I'm finna be on a nigga ass about my money. I'm finna, you know, stack my cheese, right? This what a bitch be done told they sell before they be done met y'all, right? Y'all fuck around and cross paths with one of these people, right? You like him so much, he feel like he like you. You know how y'all do. Y'all pressuring a nigga to pick you, to be in a monogamous relationship. The nigga going along with it because he don't want to, you know, not he don't want you to not fuck with him or whatever. But in the back of a nigga mind, guess what matter more than all of this? That 90-day press. That 60-day press. That 30-day press. Like a bitch bought they bread by any means necessary because overall, rather they work out with you, rather y'all be a family or not, rather you have attitude or not, a bitch need they cheese, right? But this is what a bitch be done told they self. Like, yes, a stacking season. Like, like a grinding season. Like, this is where a bitch literally, like, if you from the streets, you understand what I'm saying. And and even for me, I do that. I wouldn't give a fuck what a bitch, family member, child, or whatever. If I tell myself, oh, I'm finna stack these 60 bands, like, this is what I'm finna do, bitch, that's what I do. I wouldn't give a fuck what you people gonna say you're acting funny family members be like oh you don't come around your kids be mine you ain't taking us nowhere I wouldn't give a fuck I told myself I'm finna stack the I done did it boy and I currently do it like so I understand a lot of y'all don't understand right so like y'all get with the people and then y'all feelings be so hurt by their actions because their actions be centered around their goal And then y'all do these one-on-one -on -one calls with me and you want me to sit with you and agree that a nigga is a bad nigga because he ain't rearranging what the fuck he already told himself he was going to do to match up with your emotions and what you think y'all should be doing. And y'all know I told y'all, if you put this shit in medical terms, bitch, if you go to the hospital right now, they going to treat the worst rooms first. If a nigga money ain't right, that's worse than...
talking about shacking up in a relationship with you and pacify. A nigga need to treat that first. If a nigga ain't got his basics all together, if a bitch ain't got the right amount of money stacked up or saved up or invested or flowing in for his age and the amount of kids he got and what his life at and you know where he's trying to go, that's way more important than sitting around worried about if you crying because he ain't answer his phone or he ain't come by there every night like he said he was or he ain't taking you on these dates that you want to go on. You thinking a nigga ain't out in public with you because he trying to keep you a secret but a nigga ain't trying to go on no dates with you or fucking Holly Berry. A bitch trying to stack their bread because they on a 90 day press, 60 day press, 30 day press. It's stacking season, ho. What's up? Y'all understand what I'm explaining? Same goes vice versa. Some of y'all dudes, y'all be with females and then you think like, and I don't have this happen to me plenty of times. Nigga be like, damn, like, I'm saying you don't even call a nigga like that. You, you act like you don't even care. No, you're used to females that have no goals going on in their life. So all they do is wake up all day long and check on you. Bitch, I get my own money. Like, nigga, I'm on my own grind. Like, nigga, I got my own press going on. Like, I got my own goals. Like, bitch, I be in the studio too. Like, nigga, I be stacking cheese too. Like, bro, I got shit. I'm, I'm not finna be sitting around texting your phone all fucking day long trying to figure out is, how your day going. Is you all right or what you doing with it? No, bitch. I'm on the 60 day press, 90 day press, 30 day press. It's stacking season, bitch. What you want to do? Y'all take the shit so per. I'm saying, what you fucking with another nigga? Listen, you, another nigga, her nigga, or other nigga. Like, I don't know what to tell you. That nigga, this nigga. I don't know what to tell you. It ain't no. I'm on a. Listen, 60 day, 30 day, 90 day press. Nigga, it's stacking season. What, what you want me to do? What you want me to do? I had to go to work in the morning. You trying to go get a room and stay up late. You thinking a bitch doing something because they don't want to hang out with you. Bitch, I told my kids, no, we can't go to the water park. So I'm going to tell your ass no too. 60-day press, 90-day press, 30-day press. Bitch, it's stacking season. What you want from me? What you want? Like, y'all got to understand, stop making other people priorities and their goals a reflection of you. Y'all will sit there and be a victim to what a bitch trying to do for themselves. This go for nigga or bitch, y'all will sit around and cry like a bitch doing something to you because they trying to get their life together. Like, you don't know what a bitch been through. You don't know how many poor choices they be done. All you know is you the shit and these niggas better come at you right and a whole better step correctly and a bitch better, he better take me on dates and she better do this. Girl, if you don't go get you some real, your life don't even be together. Y'all don't be having y'all bases together, but y'all be running around here. Y'all will sit on these calls. I, listen, I was talking to Pasta last night and I told him, like, sometimes, like, I be feeling bad for some of y'all because we'll be on a one-on-one -on -one call, right? And y'all be so enthusiastic about the part when we be talking about the nigga and what you trying to get. Y'all be wanting me to like, y'all want to tell me the information, right? And I'm cool because I can give you some raw ass fucking advice about relationships. But when it gets to the point where I tell you like what you got going on, you explain it to me. And then I explain to you, you got bigger fish to, fish to fry with fixing stuff with yourself than this stuff with the nigga. So then when I start talking to y'all about y'all goals, y'all enthusiasm leave the conversation. Like when it's time to talk about your 60 day press, your 30 day press, your 90 day press, your stacking season, like bitch, your vibrations getting low. But when you was telling me about this nigga, how he wasn't doing this, and let me tell you what he did, love, and what you think I should do about this, and so how you think I should talk to him, and what you think I should say, it be all this energy. Like, you be ready. Like, you know, I be telling y'all shit to go back and do and how you should move, and you know, y'all be really taking that shit in. But when we get to the part about how much money you got saved up, do you have any sources of passive income? Where you at with your goals? How are you with getting your family to be a pack unit and y'all operating not as a herd, but you getting your kids prepared for life? Do you got life insurance? You know, have you been investing? Download the Acorn app. What's your numbers as far as your business mind? Like, how much money you trying to make? Let's break this shit down. When I go to talk about this, it's, um, and yeah, and I ain't never even think about that. And then, so all you've been doing is thinking about these niggas. And then y'all get mad when I be making videos about these niggas. But that's all y'all be thinking about. Girl, where is you at on your 60 day, 90 day, 30 day? This is why y'all can't understand the mindset of like a go get. Like these, these niggas that y'all be getting with and these men be having money goals. They be having like they be done told themselves as a man at my age, I should have 90 bands, 100 bands, 200 bands, X amount of money. Stat. A nigga be seeing this kind of money. Like even if a nigga work a regular job, like I should have like 10, 20,000 saved up. Y'all get with these people and you really think it's normal for you to come in a nigga life and because you got a pretty face, a fat ass and some pussy that this nigga supposed to rearrange the way he getting his cheese or the way he, you know, the pace at which he chasing his goals to pacify your feelings. 
First of all, I told y'all, you got to let a nigga choose you. Y'all don't do that. Y'all be choosing. Even when you try to pretend like you don't choose, like this me now, y'all got to realize I'm on a one-on-one -on -one call with love fucking Dorsey. Not my homegirl down the street. Not my mama. Not my auntie. Like this me now. When y'all be telling me these stories about how y'all be done met the nigga, you chose him. How I chose him, love, I'm saying, he was saying, hey, hey, come here to me, girl. You knew what you was doing when you was riding up over there on the block or going to that particular gas station or dressing up, going out to these particular clubs, knowing these niggas be there. Like, you knew what the fuck you was doing. Even when you think he picked you, girl, I know you picked him. The fuck? Nigga be on a 30-day press, 90-day press, 60-day press, bitches stacking season. What you talking about? Like, what did you talking about? Some of y'all got to be real. You don't want a nigga to be real with you. You really just want a nigga to tell you what you want to hear. Because when a nigga do sit you down and look you dead in your eyes, girl, under them lashes and all, bitch, and tell your ass, I don't give a fuck about no relationship right now. I care about stacking my bread up. Y'all be so hurt. Y'all, oh, I need a one-on-one -on -one love. Oh, I need a call right now. What's your cash out? I need a call. I need you to call me right now. Oh, I just... We had a conversation and I did all the stuff that you said, dude. And he just, he talk about, he just, a nigga on a 30 day press, 60 day press, 90 day press, bitch is stacking season. Nigga trying to get his money together. Nigga done tallied up and the money ain't right, bitch. That's more important than sitting around talking about y'all be, oh, well, what you want me to tell him? I told y'all the one girl hung up on me just like, like, and, and, and the other girl, she was like, bitch, just tell me how to get my man back. Girl, like, calm down, relax. Because if you tally the fuck up, you be on what he on. Y'all don't be having enough going on for y'all. And some of y'all niggas in the same boat. Y'all want to call and you want to sit on the one-on-one -on -one me and you want to talk for the whole 15 minutes, 30 minutes about the female and what she's not doing to cater to your emotions. That's all it be is emotions. It don't be real life shit. Real life shit is bill paying, goal setting, like forward progress like investing like stacking bread like raising your children like making sure you're doing the upgrades on your body mentally physically emotionally like your vanity needs like real life shit how is your mental health what you these is the real wounds that you need to be caring for this other shit y'all be no niggas be moving off emotion too g Niggas be around here moving up. I'm telling you, because I, I I can say this with a straight face and know what the fuck I'm talking about. Because I done had niggas do it. I am a woman that I have done the work on myself to where I understand me being whole is more important than anything. I done met and talked to niggas in my life where these niggas can't understand why you not. These niggas can't understand why you not chasing them around. Why you not calling them all the time? They feel like you messing with somebody else because you ain't on their line 24-7 trying to figure out what they got. A grown woman don't do that. Niggas be emotional as fuck too. They be trying to manage their emotions too. The difference is females more willing to get on one of these calls and vocalize it. So, obviously, it seems like it's going on way more with them. It's a lot of you niggas, young and old, you don't manage your emotions well, and you do, you want a bitch to just go along with what you got going on. That's why a lot of y'all be in situations where y'all be with a female and she don't got her shit together. She don't really got her shit together. She got a job. She make a little money. You know, she pretty. Got a little body together and stuff like that. But overall, when you dig into a bitch life, like, they ain't got their shit all the way together. And they ain't working on it. That's the, 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 the worst thing. Because it ain't bad to not have your shit together. If you working on it and you got goals. And like I be telling y'all. You got this shit planned out. Like a schedule. You've turned your goals. Because see a lot of y'all. Y'all done went to the too many of them vision board parties. Where all y'all sit there and do is stick them pictures on the goddamn cardboard. And it don't take you nowhere. Like you need to do a one on one with me about goal setting. When I drop this course on how to set goals. You need to buy that bitch. Because it's going to show you how to take a single goal. And break that bitch all the way down into a fucking daily schedule on your ass like even down to the stuff you want to fit but y'all don't be having this man 
Y'all just be naming shit, saying you're going to do it, thinking it's going to manifest itself. Y'all pray a whole lot and faith without work is dead. Them prayers be nothing without you actually moving your fucking feet to make something. And then all y'all be worrying about is like the actions of another person. Is they treating you like how they coming at you? Like what? But you never consider how you treat yourself, how you coming at yourself, what you got going on for self, what type of energy you put out. Like, is it a reflection of what you getting back? Like. I hope y'all understand what I'm explaining. Some of y'all just need to be real with y'allself. I'm really not in a space right now where I want somebody to keep it real with me. I want a nigga to just come around and go along with whatever I tell him that I want to go along. It's, you know, that's a season you in in your life. I've been there. You just need to be real with yourself. Because y'all be sitting on these lies with me and y'all be faking. Because when a nigga tell you the truth or a bitch tell you the flat out truth, you play victim to what they told you about what's really going on. And I know everybody ain't well met. I'm in a space in my life where I like to know what the fuck is going on, what they expect, so I can have my emotions managed for that shit. I can have this shit. Like, I can sit and tell myself, before I'm involved in some shit, ho, get your shit together. This is what this finna be. That man not finna be on this. It's gonna be times where you gonna want this and you ain't gonna get this. Ho, pull it the fucking together and let's go. And you know, when once I had that talk, my, oh, it's game on then. I can move straight then. I'm good. You ain't gotta ask me. You love you all right? I've been good. Like, when I left the mirror talking to my motherfucking self, bitch, I was good at that moment. You got to be weird. You, you, can't, you can't level up past the season you in if you ain't willing to admit where you at. Y'all be trying to say it's summer, but it's winter. Keep talking about it's hot. Bitch, it's cold. That's why you need a jacket on. But you keep pretending like it's not. That's why you can't get nowhere. Some of y'all, man, you need to calm down. The stuff that people own, it don't got nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with the shit they decided they was going to do before they got with y'all ass. A lot of these niggas, man, they decided they was going to be on a 90-day, 60-day, 30-day press and stacking season hole before they got with you. Some of them might have decided why they was with you. But that is a person's, you know, that is their decision based on reflecting on where their life is at. And people have the right, I keep telling y'all this, people have the right to change their opinion, their feelings about anything at any given time in their life. That's why you have to be practical about what's going on. I told y'all, you can be with somebody and halfway through y'all relationship journey, they can decide this ain't what I want based on the stuff y'all been through and shit. Stop running around crying and playing victim to every choice or decision a bitch be making for they self. I did a one-on-one -on -one with this lady, man, like, and this was a raw-ass one-on-one. Like, I, I fucked with her. I'm, I'm looking forward to doing another one with her, right? And this this one-on-one one, cheap. We spent a whole hour sitting, sitting down together on a Zoom call, like, and, and, and I respected everything she said. Like, she was like, you know, I just fucked with her as a black woman just because, like, she broke down her situation and she reminded me of me because she was being so honest and so real. Like, she doing everything she can in her marriage and in her situation to, like, conform to what this nigga want. And I just, you know, when she got done, I just explained to her, like, he on a journey finding himself. And you got to be real with yourself about the things that you doing and the stuff that he has going on. Don't make it a reflection of your self-esteem because, like, that's what a lot of y'all doing. Like, the nigga saying certain shit to her and, like, she's doing certain things and it's like, damn, you said you wanted this. I do this and that still ain't good enough. And I, like, listen, I had to look in her face. Don't lose yourself trying to, like, fulfill some sort of, you know, personality goal for another person that, like, if it ain't you, if it don't interest you, if it's not, don't fake with this man. Like, the shit, Joseph, you, you, you got to be in it to understand it. But, like, like just from me to y'all, man, if you in a relationship and you feel like, like I'm conforming and changing too much of me to try to make this work, you're forcing it. You're forcing it. I hope y'all genuinely understand what I'm explaining. I could tell she going to be all right. I told her she was going to be all right. I could just tell by the way that she was talking and it's like she was realizing. Like, and y'all got to understand, everybody be having their own. You can go through, and I got a video coming out on this. It's not going to be a live video. It's going to be an actual video you purchased. But you can go through things with a person. Like, y'all could have went through the same thing. Like, I was in that shootout right along with you. But the way you processed it and the way they processed it is completely different. So it's like the way it affected them and the way it affected you is completely different. 
This is the definition of why you see niggas be in a situation together and some snitch, some don't. This is why you see people, they in a marriage together and some ready to divorce and some ready to still try to work it out because the perspectives are different. And a lot of y'all, y'all closed minded. You think I was there too. And you don't think I understand how you feel. You can be going through the same shit a bitch going through and you, you may not understand how they feel because y'all two different people. It ain't freeze. I'm just reading y'all comments. I really hope y'all understand what I'm explaining. Because these are some real gems. If you can really process the way I'm explaining it. And understand what I'm saying. Some of y'all in a situation like. You think that you're a victim. But the other person man. They just. They on the press. But whatever goals they trying to accomplish. Like stop making that a reflection of you. I told y'all 60 day, 30 day, 90 day. Bitches stacking season. Nigga trying to get this money. Perception is definitely everything. It's definitely everything. Exactly. Exactly. Two different mindsets. A lot of people think like, this is where the hating be coming in. But that's another video for another day. Like, I could really get deep with the shit. But I'm going to let y'all enjoy this motherfucking Thursday. Tomorrow, Friday. I apologize, but Toxic is not going to drop tomorrow. Um, when it's, when I signed to uh, Authentic Empire, they changed the date for which the project, well, not the project, for which the, the single going to drop. But it's going to drop with a video. So no worries. It's coming. I'm going to keep playing that bitch. Like, y'all going to get it. I am going to save this live. If you try to book a one-on-one, if you're trying to book a one-on-one, -on -one, the phone number is in the bio. Text that number. Um, my assistants, a couple of them will get back with you right away. You can lock it in. Um, the price is different from what it was before I signed with Authentic Empire. Um, obviously, y'all know, you know, my time costs more now. It's worth it. I promise you it is. Rather than going around venting to somebody in your environment and run a chance of, like, your business being repeated somewhere or getting bad advice or just, you know, being told some shit that don't sit well with your spirit is better off to invest in yourself. So the same way y'all run out and buy them Jordans and shit and run to the mall and buy all that designer to help, you know, you feel better about how you look. It's very much worth it to invest in, you know, a conversation or some energy that's going to be poured into you to where you feel better about what you're doing with yourself, how you moving through your relationship or your life. It's worth it. It's sad I got to explain this, but some of y'all, you was never told that. Your mental health is just as important as the brand of shoes you put on your feet or the clothes you put on your back or the wig you put on your head, bitch. Me just being real with you. 